Fernando Zobel de Ayala, artist, scholar, collector, and patron. Presented by GerenGerard.com. Fernando Zobel was a modern artist, scholar, and patron of the arts. Born on August 27, 1924, in Manila, he was a member of the prominent Zobel de Ayala family. Although Fernando Zobel was a citizen of Spain, he grew up in both the United States and in the Philippines. In 1942, at the age of 18, a spinal problem caused him to be bedridden for nearly a year. During that time, he began to develop his drawing skills, making sketches of the views out his window as well as caricatures of family members. After World War II, he was admitted to Harvard University. Living in Boston, he befriended many modern artists and began to paint in the representational Boston style. After recovering from illness and depression in 1954, he entered the Rhode Island School of Design and was deeply moved by an exhibition of paintings by Mark Rothko. The epiphany provided by this show changed the course of Zobel's art and strengthened his personal commitment to abstraction. When he returned to Manila in the late 1950s, he connected with Filipino artists and shared his new enthusiasm for modern art. By actively collecting art and setting up exhibitions, he played a crucial role in stimulating and promoting modern art in the Philippines. During this period, he was also active in the management of the family business. Although Zabel was a very effective executive, his heart belonged to art, and he was known to rush home from work so he could pick up his brushes. In Manila, he cultivated a serious interest in Chinese and Japanese art, taking classes in calligraphy under a Chinese master. He also began using a hypodermic syringe to achieve fine effects of line in his abstract meditations on movement, the Seetas series. His next series, initiated in Madrid in 1959, the Series Negra, demonstrated his efforts to use the color black to express powerful effects of space and motion. In 1962, he was made honorary director of the Museum of Manila's Ateneo University. After a one-man show at the Luz Gallery in Manila, Zobel returned to live in Spain permanently. In 1966, Zobel displayed his private collection of Spanish modern art as well as his own works at the newly founded Museum of Abstract Spanish Art in Cuenca, Spain. Working with artist friends, he persuaded the Cuenca Town Council to give them part of the hanging houses which had recently been restored to be used as a site for the museum. As an artist, Zobel worked from the mid-60s into the 70s, developing imagery based on the memory of experience, old master paintings, and also on the Spanish landscape. During the ensuing years, he received many honors, and in 1975, Harvard University appointed him a member of the Advisory Committee for the Acquisition of Rare Books and Manuscripts. One-man exhibitions of his work in New York, Madrid, and Paris established his reputation as an artist of international significance. After recovering from a stroke suffered in 1980, Zobel executed works in which drawing increasingly fused with colors applied as thin glazes. In 1983, a major retrospective of his work was held in Sevilla, Spain. After Zobel died unexpectedly of a heart attack in Rome in 1984, he was awarded a gold medal by the city of Cuenca, Spain. He was remembered with great affection by many friends and students who found his clarity of mind and his kindness as a man unforgettable. Garen Gerard is seeking original works by Fernando Zobel. Please contact us on the web at www garingerart.com or by telephone 808-295-2216.